These these are funky. I love the 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 white and the red. It reminds me of like Mario Brothers. <laughs> My name is Lauren Simmons. I am from Georgia, and I became the second African-American female trader at the New York Stock Exchange in 226 years. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Becoming a trader was not top on any list. At 21, no one knows what they want to do. And like most people, you graduate and you think everyone's going to hire you, and they didn't. And I said, I'm here in New York. I got to make it happen. New York is a playground. On my lunch break, walking through the streets, there is food. I'm a foodie. From the architecture to the horrible smells, there is a charm any part of New York that you go to. One of the charms for me is Wall Street. The trading floor is the one place where you can't hide or give excuses. I uh, made a $3 million error. My boss said, go home. Only ended up being a $2,000 error, but it showed me to be fearless and also showed me to be accountable. I learned fearlessness through my twin brother who has cerebral palsy and through my mom. Being a single parent, I really look up to her. My mom was an executive at her company. My brother was in the hospital a lot. A superior said to her one day, are you really going to put your kids before your job? And my mom quit on the spot. Her fearlessness is beyond amazing. Because of it, I always had a voice for Lauren. I got offered to do a speaking engagement, but I remember going around the trading floor, talking to some of my mentors, and they would say, well, what value add would you have to doing a speech? You shouldn't do it at all. And so I had my first speaking engagement, and it was a success. <laughs> Outside of work, I am in leggings and a crop top. Living down south, it doesn't get cold, so I wore flip-flops all the time. I actually bought my first pair of sneakers here in the city. The chunky sneakers would definitely be my go-to style. It definitely supports my feet, and they're trendy. They're in. They're cute. I love these. I'm here at 24. I'm having a movie made on me. The feeling of studios reaching out to say they want to do a movie or a TV series is crazy, but with anything that I put my hands on, I want it to be my authentic, genuine self. I wanted people to see how I use self-help books to get me to where I'm at today and how you can use those same tools to get you in an amazing place as well. If I could tell these young women anything, you will limit yourself by listening to anyone but yourself.